I do a lot of videos where I show you the process of writing the highest quality, most in-depth articles using AI. Well, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to actually optimize that content to increase the likeliness of improving your on-page optimization score and also ranking that content on Google. So when optimizing your content, you can do it manually or you can use a tool like New End Writer. I really like New End Writer because it's very easy to use. And I do believe that there's still a lifetime deal on AppSumo. So if you head over to AppSumo, I'm pretty sure that there's still a lifetime deal. So if it's still available, I'll leave a link for the lifetime deal in the description below today's video. So yes, $89 one-time payment, and you will get full access to New End Writer, and you wouldn't have to pay monthly. So once you set up your project, you can then have a new query, and this is where you're going to enter the keyword in which you're going after. So for example, let's say I wanted to optimize a piece of content that I've already written about. So for this example, it's going to be best private lenders in Ontario. So I'm going to search in my keyword best and I'm going to change my country to Canada, but you can keep it to whatever country you are located in. And then we're going to click start. So what Neuron Writer is going to do now, it's going to go ahead and grab all of the top ranked information and figure out why the websites that are ranking number one, number two, number three are ranking and give us all of those ranking factors in one place. And then we can use that information to um, optimize our content. Okay, so now it's all loaded up. We can go ahead and click on that keyword. And once we click on the keyword, we can then select or deselect any competitors. So if you have Reddit, YouTube, or Quora, and you don't want to actually go up against those specific websites, you can select or deselect any of these sites here. And now we have our content editor. So this is what it looks like. All we have to do now is simply paste in our content within this section. So again, in this video, I'm not going to show you how to write the content. Um, I've done a lot of videos on how to write content. So you can look at any of my previous videos, but I'll be showing you more how to optimize the content. So, so this is the full content. And as you can see here, we have a content score of 37 out of 100. So definitely there's room for improvements. So what I can do is I can head over to the H1 section here, H1 terms, and this will give me ideas of keywords in which I can include within my H1 tag to get a higher score. So for example, I can enter private mortgage lender, private mortgage lender in Ontario. And as you can see here, we went up to a 41. I can also enter mortgage rate. And again, we're up to 43 now. So as you can see, it's small things that you need to do in order to increase your score. So what I can do now is I can add another H1 if I like, or I can start optimizing my H2s. So again, private mortgage lender. So what are private mortgage lenders? Again, so now that's in the green. So again, I can just scroll down and see where I can include these H2s. Okay, so we're adding in those keywords there. And again, we're getting a jump in our um, in our content score. So again, that's all we need to do simply is just go to our H1s, H2s, and see where we can include these keywords that are in gray. If it's in green, then it's in the optimal amount of range. If it's red, then you've added in too many times. If it's gray, then you need to add it in a couple more times. So again, let's scroll down here. Okay, again, now we're up to 47. Again, now we're up to 48, 49. So if we keep on doing this, it is a little tedious, but if we keep on adding in these keywords, we can definitely get up to a 50 or above. As you can see is before we had a 32, now we're up to 49. So one thing that we need to do is add in our title and you can use the AI generated features in Nuan Writer because it's actually really good at writing content because it's going to take all of the information that you already have. And then you can also see your competitors meta and title description. So this can give you ideas of what you can do to essentially outrank your competitors. Let's save and close. And we're all the way up to a 68. So we went from a 32 to a 68. And according to New End Writer, this is the highest um, content optimization score for a website for this specific um, search query. So as you can see here, it's very, very easy to optimize your content when you're using New End Writer. Of course, you can kind of optimize it yourself. Um, and that may be um, good, but then you may not be able to kind of see a side by side comparison with your competitors and also be able to see your content score out of 100. So this is the process in which I would use to optimize my content. Just head over to H1 terms, once you paste in your content, make sure you're adding in all of those terms. So you want to make sure for H1, at least, you know, seven or eight of those terms are in the green. And then for H2, add in as much H2s and H3s as well. And you can sit, you can easily, easily increase your on-page optimization. And once you get up to a 70, 75, or if you're higher than what is number one, 
um, based upon new and writer score, then you can be confident that this content is optimized. You don't want to spend too long or too much time overly optimizing a piece of content because you just never know if that content will actually rank on Google. So it's a good practice for you to optimize your content, but not overly optimize it. Once you got in a pretty decent score, then you can move on to your other articles. So if you guys want to check out New Run Writer for yourselves, again, I will leave a link for the lifetime deal in the description below today's video. But once it's finished, you can then simply copy over your content like I did, and then just paste it back into your website. And for good measures, you always want to go ahead and add some images as well. So you can add in some images from ChatGPT by creating some images, or you can use Unsplash um, or any of the free stock photography websites, and you can include some images within your articles. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let me know by giving us a big thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Also, if you want to try Word Rocket for yourselves, it is my new AI writer. You can try it for completely free if you want to write content. It is really, really good, very easy to use, and very, very affordable. You can use it for completely free using your own API key, and you can generate content pretty quickly, and then you can use New and Writer to optimize your content. So again, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.